Let's take a look at EXA, which will allow us to do some smarter things when listing files in the terminal. EXA is a replacement for ls, which means that anytime you want to list files in a directory, you can reach for EXA instead of ls. What's different about EXA is that it attempts to be a bit more featureful and user-friendly. I like EXA for a few reasons. It's got better defaults, it's integrated with Git, and many of the flags that you're going to want to use day to day are named in a more user-friendly way. Let's look at the base outputs of ls and then exa for this directory. There's some minor differences in how it colors and sorts the files, but once we start adding flags, we'll see where exa really shines. By adding the git ignore flag, I can remove several files that are mentioned in my git ignore file, which helps clean up the output that I'm looking at. I can easily include the dot files in my project using the all flag. And then if I want to view with all of the metadata about the files, I can add the long flag. What I like about this view is the differentiating use of color, as well as the human readable uh, formatting of file sizes. You can check out manexa for more details and all of the available flags. And make sure to check out the GitHub link for more details and uh, instructions on how to install it. And make sure to subscribe to stay in the loop on upcoming episodes of Modern CLI.